crispy. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Figures in Action. And today I bring to you something I've actually been working on for quite some time. I put an hour or two every couple of weeks. And uh, that's my boy Nate Gray right there for scale. So basically this is a review, a review dial pretty much. So um, when I first got into ACB, oh, let, let me backtrack a little bit. When I, uh, when I first discovered that there was this like, whole other world of individually like-minded people in terms of collecting action figures out there one of the first groups that i ran into or bumped into or found out about was acba which is articulated comic book art an amazing amazing art form of basically posing figures uh tangibly and uh and creating a story with 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 those poses and uh, a lot of technique goes into it from uh, flight stands if you want these figures to kind of be in midair and then you'd have to hide these flight stands because Photoshop is something we try to stay away from. You know, we legit try to make it a tangible thing. So if you're there, uh, you can see behind the scenes and see what it is that's happening. So, you know, people would hide these flight stands with trash, you know, bags or trash cans or bushes or what, what have you. People get creative with it. So anyway, found out about this group. Uh, quickly introduce myself to the uh, CEO, uh, Kendall, and uh, ever since then we've been pretty cool, man. He's he's a real cool dude, uh, and he's one of the reasons that I am in the position I am today in terms of uh, my little side business of of you know customizing these dioramas. He's been a great uh, help in terms of pushing what I do, but not just me a lot of people he pushes a lot of people it's it's kind of dope and and i think to me personally that's always the secret part of the secret of success is to highlight others highlight uh, you know highlight others um uh their specialties their 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 skills so uh so i've known book for some years i've hung out with him a bunch of times again i consider him a friend real cool dude uh a lot of people just kind of see what they see and they assume something about a person I personally don't go based on what other people think of others. So in other words, if somebody's like, oh, have you met this dude? He's a dick. Then I'm not going to go off of your word. I have to meet the dude myself. So, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't realize that, uh, you know, we're just regular people behind, you know, this camera doing our thing. And, uh, you know, Boog is one of my favorite people in the community. And, and, and he's an amazing ambassador of, of this art form. And ACBA has changed the game. A lot of people hate to admit it, but it really has uh, changed the game. It has changed the way toy uh, companies, action figure companies are releasing figures uh, with accessories and additional pieces that just didn't exist before because there was no point. And now you have a reason to do it. So I wanted to create a review station for Boog. He does a lot of reviews. He's one of my favorite reviewers. You know, I, I watch him. I watch Shardimus pretty often i watch unparalleled universe as well uh in terms of their reviews a couple others uh and yeah so i, I you know boog is definitely one of my favorite in terms of breaking down the 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 uh, action figure and a lot of times uh he swayed me to uh cop something that i normally was like eh, and then when i get out my like, yo word so i wanted to just create this for him so real quick uh it's made out of insulation so first and foremost it looks a little disjointed. Somebody had mentioned this. I showed some. I usually show these out to like people in my inner circle who aren't really into this, and they'll be like, "Yo, but this is weird." <laughs> so because it's a review station, for the most part, when he's reviewing figures, it's gonna look something like this. So you're not gonna see this space here. So I just painted it blue and gave it a mod podge, or a light blue, gave it a mod podge, so that if the figure came with additional accessories, uh, hands, heads, he can kind of have them here as he's doing this and, and they'll be in, in, you know, in an organized fashion. Because for the most part, again, you're you're kind of recording something like this, so you're not really getting anything past this wood, uh, these these wood panels or what have you. So basically this is uh, that uh, foam, those foam sheets. It was a gray and I painted it a lighter gray, kind of gave it a wash and then I painted a, a streak. And I kind of made it messy on purpose. I don't know if you can see here. Kind of made it a little messy on purpose to kind of give it that that rug feel. And I think I executed what I had in mind. So that's kind of just the rug that's in. A, and so this is a hallway. So this is like an apartment building hallway. So if you're 
it, I, I do a lot of uh, I Instacart. It's a little part-time job I do here and there where I food shop for people. And a lot of people in Boston live in these type of, of apartment buildings. They're like kind of luxury type of, not luxury necessarily, but, you know, very artsy, very Art Nouveau type of, you know, so you go through these hallways and you see like amazing artwork. So that was kind of my inspiration for this piece was... Uh, you know, that's where Bug lives. <laughs> and uh, this is the hallway to, you know, in his apartment building or, or what have you. So the first thing I wanted to do was represent, because uh, he does have, he review, you know, he again does amazing reviews. And, uh, and I always thought, yo, man, it'd be cool if he had a review station that kind of represented ACBA as well as that structure, which is um, the cousin of ACBA, which is more uh, just showing showing off build or, or teaching builds and, and showing off what you can do in terms of uh, the skill level and teaching others. Uh, great group of people to answer questions and so forth. So I had this old sticker sheet that was, I think Tyler created it. Um, anyway, uh, I had this sticker sheet and I had these two unstuck stickers uh so i was like work got those little canvases in the back and just did kind of the splash work where i took water and put it in the, into the paint until it became kind of watery and just kind of took the brush and literally took it to the backyard and just like splash splash so that's that effect put the sticker right in the middle color coordinated to the sticker uh that door is totally from scratch uh cut out a door you know pushed it back a little bit and then that back piece is a different type of wood than the basswood that's the surrounding uh so this is a different type of wood than this uh, you know and which is great because it takes it takes the the stain differently and therefore gave it kind of a unique look that i didn't plan originally so when it kind of came out that way i was like word uh these are all uh individually stained and, and put there um the floorboards are, are a piece that i had left so was able to use it here and then uh I didn't, if you can see here, I didn't really go into the corner too much because this is going to be more of a of a review station. So this is a shot you're going to see 99% of the time. So I made sure that on the straightaway, it looks the way I wanted it to look. Uh, this piece here is just molding from Home Depot. This wood is from Hobby Lobby. Uh, wood, balsa wood, basswood, wherever you can get that. This is actually a piece of just the skinny foam board, and I wrapped it up with this uh, scrapbook paper. So wrapped up, uh, and I thought I gave it a good little look. And uh, same thing here, scrapbook paper. That's the same molding as the bottom. Um, yeah, I think there's nothing else to explain in terms of what this the, the build is. Uh, it's 18 inches across. I think I cut it down to 11 inches tall. Or ten and a half, something like that. Just because, again, he doesn't need the entire twelve inches. And then I also uh, created this for Boog. And my original thought was that I was gonna put it up here, but then in my mind, I felt like it was a little cluttered. So I'm just gonna give it to Boog. I'm actually, as soon as I finish recording, uh, stop. As soon as I stop recording this, I'm actually on my way to New York to drop something off to Boog, which is why I'm taking this dial to him now. Uh, so yeah, so I, 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 I don't know. I mean, if he wants to hang it up there, feel free. I just felt like it got a little too cluttered, but then when he does the reviews, you're not really going to see this anyway, man, it was just a dilemma in my head. So I'm just going to leave it loose and let Boog do what he wants to do with it. Maybe he wants to put it in another dial, but I thought it was kind of cool. It's kind of small, Boog nice. All right, y'all. So this is pretty much it. Um, I am out of here and, uh, I'll see y'all soon. Peace.